Hi guys, I'm Lucera and today I'm going to be talking about some of the pros and cons of online schooling, in particular K-12, um, because I am very knowledgeable in that area. Um, I did four years, technically kind of five um, years with K-12, and I did them all through high school, and now I'm in college, and so um, looking back, I really would have um, appreciated having a video like this um, about K-12 and online schooling in general and um, hopefully this will be helpful. I have a list here um, with some of the pros and cons and I'll start with the cons so that we can end on a good note. Um, so one of the biggest cons for me was the lack of long-term flexibility because I had been homeschooled prior to doing online schooling and I had used Calvert schooling and we were afforded a lot of flexibility within um, the school year. Um, with Calvert, you were essentially given a year's worth of material and a full year to complete it, and that was it. Um, whereas K-12 was a lot more structured, which is understandable because um, I did use it for high school, and high school in general is much more structured than elementary or middle school. Um, but that was definitely something that was kind of frustrating sometimes. As the second um, disadvantage that I guess I appreciate now that I'm in college but it's genuinely a lot of work and of course everybody's experience is going to be very different um, because people go into K-12 for a variety of reasons so it really honestly depends on you as a person uh, I took lots of honors and AP classes so junior year I was definitely really really swamped with work to put into perspective um, I did have a lot of friends who also did K-12 um, and I don't know anybody who's graduated I'm pretty much the only person I know that's graduated everybody else has switched to a different system or is on their way to graduating and um, they're sticking through it with it but I know probably five or six people who um, freshman and sophomore year were doing K-12 like I was and it was a lot of fun um, just being able to complain about it with them and then they just switched to something else so that kind of um, demonstrates I guess the workload and how a lot of people um, tend to underestimate how much work goes into K-12. Um, that go brings me into like my third point which is time management. Um, if you don't know how to manage your time and you don't learn quickly, you will have a very hard time because everything just compounds very quickly and like I said there's a lot of work and a lot of it is not necessarily busy work. We don't I don't remember getting a lot of worksheets, for example, but I had lots of essays, lots of labs, lots of quizzes, lots of tests, um, and those were not things that I could put off or avoid doing, so um, just you really need to know how to manage your time. Um, and then the fourth con I have was that it was very independent. I did all the labs by myself, I did all the projects by myself, I did not have other people that I could work with or split up the work. Um, with that didn't make any sense um, but the point stands that I just kind of did everything by myself and what I also mean is by independent is that I ended up teaching myself a lot of the work um, the teachers were helpful but they don't actively teach you um, you have your set lessons and overall you will be teaching yourself most of the material unless you have a tutor or um, a learning guide at home who is going to do that for you. It's been so helpful being able to go to somebody specific with my problems and have them explain it to me in person versus having just an online teacher um, try and teach it to me um, through the internet. And the fifth con that I have, I doesn't really apply to me a whole lot, but I know it can apply to a lot of other people, um, is that online schooling in general, if you do it by yourself, you will have lots of free time by yourself. You will do everything by yourself. And that's scary for a lot of people, or at the very least not fun, not desirable. Um, to be quite honest, I didn't mind it so much. I really like my alone time. It's actually been really helpful in college because um, I do get to have that alone time. I do get to study by myself and uh, work on my own and individually. That's something to consider. That's something that you should think about if you are trying to make the switch from private or public schooling into online schooling. Um, just really assess if you are willing and able to 
um, work by yourself and kind of be on your own for quite a while and if you're also willing to make the effort to find other ways to reach out to people and hang out with other kids your age. Now I have my pros. Um, so we'll get into some of the fun stuff. Um, the first thing is to counteract the whole lack of long-term flexibility. There is a lot of daily flexibility. So if you have other hobbies or interests that you like or you just have a particular way you want to schedule your day, you are totally free to do that. And actually, you can also schedule your week pretty loosely as well. It also enabled me to pursue some of my other hobbies, including blogging and videos and um, being involved in my little brother's football league, particularly like my senior year of high school. Um, so that's something that you could definitely take advantage of if you were to go into online schooling. The second pro is self-dependence. You will definitely learn how to be self-reliant and um, be your best person because with online schooling there is nobody um, who will breathe down your neck and remind you about deadlines and remind you to do your homework and really nag you about these responsibilities. Your parents might do that, mine didn't, but yours might. In any case, uh, you really have to learn how to be responsible and um, take initiative for the projects that you have to do. The third um, pro that I really enjoyed and might be helpful for you is that we have lots of class options lots of electives, lots of honors and AP courses, and I think it's pretty, pretty great. Um, I was able to take almost all the AP classes I wanted to. I don't think they have human geography, just FYI, um, but K-12 might still be an option for you as a part-time school. If your um, public or private school doesn't offer as many AP classes as you'd like, um, you could definitely sign up for AP classes through K-12, um, but that's something that it's kind of it's kind of dorky, and I know not everybody gets really excited picking out their classes, but it was something that was important to me. So it's something to consider and um, look into because we have a very uh, big selection of classes. The fourth prong, prong, pro that I have, um, and that is challenge. Um, like I said, a lot of the skills that I learned in K-12, while they weren't fun to learn and they weren't fun to put into practice, they have really, really helped me um, succeed so far in college and I really feel strongly that um, K-12 helped me get off to a good start in college. Um, and yeah, I think in total I took eight AP classes um, throughout high school and I was able to claim a couple of those credits for college so um, I technically was able to claim like 24 credit hours but only 15 apply to my major it's different but anyways that gives me like a whole semester of um, buffer room and has allowed me to take my first semester really easy so overall I think it's really great that they both enable and encourage that kind of personal challenge and um, it's just been really helpful for me and it really wasn't fun a lot of the time while I was doing those classes and taking those challenges um, but now that I'm in college and have been able to reap those rewards um, it's been pretty great. The final pro that I have is that K-12 and online schooling in general I believe but I can really only support K-12 is that they're really good for unusual circumstances for me I spent five years in Dubai and um, I pretty much did K-12 almost all those years I think um, and while we were living in Dubai schools there are very expensive and um, it just didn't make sense for us as a family to pay um, as much as I would for university in the US as I would for high school so um, K-12 was a better option for me it was first of all cheaper and also more convenient um, and so it was great because I could take my school with me it wasn't fun to do that honestly um, I did not particularly enjoy going um, to visit family for the holidays and having to lug all my books with me but it was nice to have that option and I think it's really great for other um, unusual circumstances if you are exceptionally fast-paced as a learner or um, you need help in some areas 
there is nothing stopping you from taking three to four hours every day to focus on the areas that you need versus a public or private school which has a lot more day-to-day -day structure. And as I mentioned before, if you have any sports that you play or hobbies that you enjoy, um, K-12 and online schooling really help you with being able to be more flexible in your day-to-day -day life and can make it a lot easier for you to um, pursue those and succeed and also do well in school and actually be doing school. Um, so it's you know pretty great all around so overall I do recommend K-12 as a program of course online schooling isn't for everybody as I've mentioned before but if you do feel that it's a good fit for you um, and you would enjoy the independence and responsibility that comes with online schooling and teaching yourself uh, I think K-12 is a really good option um, but just be aware that it can be pretty rigorous and not everybody's up for that. That's pretty much it. I really hope that that was helpful. Um, and I mean, good luck with school and everything. So I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.